Right, this is literally the fifth time of me trying to do this because I keep stuttering all the time. But yeah, I've been putting off these tutorials for a while now because literally I don't think my voice is good enough and it takes a while for me for me to do them because I keep stuttering all the time because I'm fucking stupid but yeah uh, a couple of people said I should carry on doing the tutorials because they are helpful in their words uh, so I guess I'll do this one see how it goes um, I'm going to be doing particles like I did in XO3 in part 1 because somebody asked me on Skype how I did it because he thought it looked great so I guess I'm going to do this and if you already know how to do it, I guess you don't have to watch this. You've probably gone already. But yeah. So what you'll need is motion track cinematic, which I've got here. So I'll motion track it up. Um, After Effects, obviously, and Track all particular. So if you want to jump in and make you solid, make particles. <clears throat> drag particle on there and you see my particles are here I don't really want them there I want them to be centered around about the H I guess or just above it so I can copy the Z as from the text onto the particles and drag that across drag it up so there it is above it so what you want what you want to do particles per second I'll keep it as 50, unless you like loads of particles, but I personally don't really like that much. I like it to be so. Go one frame forward, put it to zero, and then drag keyframes back. And yeah, as you'll see, there's no particles there. So, basically, just set all this up first. Um, the emitter type to box, and then you can move these across. Do an estimate, go down to particle, see, last five per second, there's a stutter again, I'm retarded, um, drag that all the way up to 10,000, 12,000, should I say, and you can see the particles there now, um, I guess, you can make them bigger this for now, and then mess around with the X, Y, and Z emitter size to get what you want. I'm going to keep it as that, I guess. So, in particle type, I've used cloud look, and that looks amazing. Um, the colour can be any colour you want, but I chose black for this, and the size, I reckon, 12.5 will do because it's subtle and they're just floating around. So, to make them float up to the side, bounce around, you go down to physics, go to gravity, uh, I'm going to do minus 35 for this, so they float up, 35 if you want them to go down, but I don't really see the point in that. Uh, um, to make them go to the sides, it's the wind x, negative is to the left, positive to the right, so I'm going to do it to the 75, I reckon. So that'll make them float up. Maybe I can do a bit more on the Y. Bring them down a bit. Because I want, I want it to be a quick burst. All of them go up. Bang. And my dog's barking. Great. Um, bring them. And then... This is going to be like near the end of the same mic for me, I reckon, round about here. So I want the particles to almost be gone, I guess, to mess around with that. Um, it's basically whatever looks good to you. Um, go down to Turbulence Field, Effect Position, uh, I guess 75 will do. That will give it, that will just make it bounce around just a tiny bit. You won't be able to see it in this time, but um, I guess that is really it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, it looks really bad at the bottom there, but with it all synced up, it'll look fine for me, I guess. I guess you could uh, 
duplicate your cinematic, get rid of the camera tracker, go to the top here, drag it above, I guess, and do a quick mask. Obviously, it's going to look bad there, but then keyframe all the things. But yeah, that's, I guess that's it for the tutorial. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.